Hi, welcome to Science Time. I'm your host, Mr. Rogers. We have a very special guest for you today, the solar eclipse. I see there are three of you. So I guess to have a solar eclipse, we need three celestial bodies, the sun, the earth, and the moon. Exciting. It's the first time we've had three guests on the show before. Let's go one at a time. Sun, can you tell us a little bit about yourself? Hi, I'm the sun. I'm the center of our solar system. All the planets revolve around me. Wow, I've never thought about this before, but you sound terrifying. Yes, I produce the energy of 20 billion nuclear bombs per second. <laughs> well, I'm glad we keep our distance from one another. Earth, you're up next. Tell us a little bit about yourself. I'm Earth. I'm located 93 million miles away from the sun, so I can enjoy its warmth and its light without getting destroyed. Perfect. Who likes annihilation anyway? <laughs> and finally, Moon. Tell us a little bit about yourself. Hi, I'm the Moon. I revolve around the Earth about once per month. And about once per year, I block the sunlight somewhere on the Earth during my monthly orbit. So wait, you're saying that you provide shade on a sunny day, sort of like opening up an umbrella on the beach? That's right, but since I'm so small and the Earth is so big, I only produce shade on a tiny part of Earth. So day will turn into night? For some places on Earth, but not others? Correct. I'm four times wider than my celestial friend, the moon. So when the moon blocks the sun's light during the day, some people notice, but many more people won't notice at all. This is called a solar eclipse. Got it. So, for somewhere on Earth, a solar eclipse will make it seem like nighttime for a whole day? No. I'm always moving. I revolve around the Earth at about 2,300 miles per hour. So, a solar eclipse only lasts about four minutes on my journey around Earth. Understood. Well, we are just about out of time. Is there any last message you'd like to share for the kids who are watching at home? Always wear special eclipse glasses because my light will cause permanent vision damage. Well, folks, that's all the time we have for today's show. Let's give a warm round of applause to our friend the sun, the earth, and the moon. And remember, I'll see you next time on Science Time with Mr. Rogers. <laughs>